People talk about it every day in the barbershops, they're talking about it, at the offices, they talk about it. the internet's talking about it. This day is building up so much. 10 years ago today, Kanye West released Graduation, the final piece of the education-themed trilogy that established Kanye as an icon. With Graduation, Kanye moved to a new level, musically and culturally. He graduated to rock star status. I finally got a cover, man. I, I made it, man. I made it. We on the top of the world. You see what we doing? You see how fresh to death as usual. You know what I'm saying? This is not a mishap. The change was a concerted effort on Kanye's part. He came off of opening for U2 on their Vertigo tour with one goal in mind, make music for stadiums. He was inspired by the ovations that Bono would receive after his performances. When you hear Stronger, when you saw the way Stronger went off, you knew like, ah, oh, okay, I see what this song was for. Is that it's definitely for the club, for the car, but also to you know, just annihilate the stadiums. This focus led West to seek out new samples, sounds, and even change his lyrical structure. It was now all about anthems. Kanye had always been known for his deft handling of a soul sample, but on graduation, he dived into more electronic depths. We go through too much bullshit just to mess with these drunk and hot girls. He turned away from the live instruments of late registration for his synthesizers. And he sampled a track by French duo Daft Punk for one of his biggest singles to date, Stronger. You know how long I've been on ya, since Prince was on Asselonia, since OJ had isotoners, don't act like I never told ya. According to producer A-Track, West hadn't even heard of Daft Punk prior to flipping their song. In a genius annotation, A-Track said, quote, we were on tour in Europe in 2006, spending a lot of hours on the bus listening to the radio. Kanye heard Touch It and thought that beat was cool. I said, he just swooped up Daft Punk. And Ye said, who? I just couldn't believe that Kanye had never heard Daft Punk. After two critically acclaimed projects, Kanye wanted his third album to solidify his place at the top. I want the number one spot. I'm going for it. I'm about to take it. This is what I'm here to do. This is, I mean, what, what, what else do you want me to do? That's why I go to the studio so I can murder shit. He was as self-assured as ever, and his ego was apparent throughout the lyrics on the album. I feel the pressure under more scrutiny, and what I do, act more stupidly. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me, and that's why I'm Seven o'clock, that's prime time. Heaven a watch guy calling from the hotlines. Why he keep giving me hotlines? I'm a star, how could I not shine? But I know the guy put you in front of me. So how the hell could you front on me? It's a thousand years, it's only one of me. I'm tripping, I'm caught up in the moment, right? The Dropout Bear, featured on Kanye's first two projects, went through its own change at the hands of the great Japanese artist Takashi Murakami. Wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. Fresh, Mr. By himself, he's so impressed. I mean, damn, did you even see the test? You got D's, mom, the D's, Rosie Perez. One of the most important aspects of graduation is the sales battle between Kanye West and 50 Cent. 50 Cent and Kanye West have highly anticipated albums that will go head to head on the same release date. 50 Cent had been the biggest rapper in the game since 2003, and the feud was a pivotal moment for hip hop because it pitted more traditional gangster rap against Kanye's more futuristic bars. 50 Cent has been quoted as saying that if your album should outsell his, he will never make another album ever again. Have you heard him? <laughs> I really like 50. I don't want him to retire once my album sells the most. It wasn't even close. Graduation bested 50 Cent's Curtis in its first week by nearly 300,000 units. Graduation also contained the song Big Brother, which was dedicated to Kanye's mentors, Jay-Z and No ID. Have you ever walked in the shadow of a giant? Not only your client, the presidito. Hola, Ovito. Oh, the game getting foul, so here's a free throw. This song served as a sign of the growing bond between Yeezy and Hove. Four years later, they would release Watch the Throne. That shit is emotional. <laughs> the camera wasn't going, I'll be saying other shit, but I'm gonna just yeah. wait to the camera, I'll tell you later. 
Graduation is one of Kanye's most important albums because events afterwards would change him and his music forever. Kanye West's mother, Donda, passed away two months after graduation was released. And I know you're really proud of me right now, and I know you wouldn't want me to stop, and you want me to be the number one artist in the world. And mama, all I'm gonna do is keep making you proud. We run this. Because of this, Kanye's music post-graduation had a much darker tone. Graduation took Kanye to his apex. He knew that he had changed the game, and as time would tell, he was only getting started. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Peace. Stadium status.